Uh, good evening, everybody. This is Pastor Jude. Um, tonight we're going to talk about sharp cap. How to do a polar alignment using sharp cap 3.1 or 3.2 actually professional. Now I'm outside already. I'm going to show you what I have set up for my telescope. So here I am. This is um, right now. I'm pointing north. I know it shows daytime, but um, right now it's nighttime. And I'll go on to the next picture. So basically, I just set up my AVX. And I've got Polaris here, somewhere in the vicinity of, not the finder scope, but just the, the peephole at the bottom here where the polar scope goes. So um, just kind of winging it right there. And, of course, the mount has to be powered off. It cannot be tracking. So everything's turned off. Okay, so I'm going to go over. Again, this is my little guider scope. I'm using a GP cam, a little refractor. And uh, let's get started. Hopefully this will work. Okay, so here it is. I've got Sharp Cap 3.2 open. I chose my camera, which is a 224 GP cam. And here, if this is, so you're going to want to go to, I believe it's Tools, Polar Align. All right. So if you give, uh, if it's dark enough and you've got your settings right, for example, I'm using two second exposure. Pick two seconds. I also have the gain. It's about 75%. Play with your gain and your uh, black level or offset until lots of stars show up. Um, simply put. And then let it find as many stars as possible. Um, for my noise reduction, I use 1.5. Minimum star width was 3 pixels because I didn't want to pick up any hot pixels. Maximum is 12, which is a pretty big star. Maybe even Polaris might fit in there. And on the digital gain, I use 2 times. So... It's already detected a whole bunch of stars, and we can follow the, um, so press next button before rotating the right ascension. Okay, so I'm going to push next. Okay, now rotate the RA axis. So I'm going to grab it. First, I'll show you what it's going to look like. Next. So I'm going to turn it right like this, parallel, while I'm uh, <clears throat> pointing towards the, uh, Still point towards Polaris. Just going to turn it 90 degrees, okay? So give me a second there. I'll turn it. So the counterweight bar is horizontal to the horizon. <clears throat> okay. Just give you a few seconds. So right away, Sharp Cap 2's polar alignment saw that I'm one degree, almost one and a half degrees. Very, very poor. So press the next button before you touch the altitude and azimuth knobs. All right, so if you go back here for a second. So this is my altitude, that big big guy in the back here, which, ma which makes me go up and down on the declination. And the azimuth is left and right knobs at the front of the telescope. So turning these will move the mount to the east, to the west. And you'll have to go slow and experiment. Okay, so press next button before touching those two. All right, so next. Okay. Now, this square yellow with this long line, I've got to make this go all the way up. Now, you can do it that way. Or, and, look at these. See, bring the mount down. Remember over here? Grab that knob and make it go downwards. So, I'm going to turn the knob and let's watch the down numbers. Here we go. First, you loosen the back and I'm going to go down a little bit at a time because it's set for two seconds. So, I've got to move it and wait two seconds. So, keep going. Sometimes it's so far out, you got to do it twice. So I'm still going nice and slow. Now, <clears throat> the closer you put Polaris in the circle of your finder scope, the faster and quicker this can be done. Right now, I'm just turning the altitude, so <clears throat> the north-south knob. I'm not touching east and west. <clears throat> okay, let's stop there. Now, see where it says 40 on the left? So I'm going to turn the left. And left can be right and right can be left, so you're going to have to experiment a little bit. So I'm going to turn the left knob and see if that 40 drops down. 39. Thirty-eight. Got to give it a second because it can't plate solve it if I move it along. 
So I turn it, wait a few seconds, turn it, wait a few seconds. Winter in Canada. Keep turning. 32. I've got this down to when I get pretty close to uh, the, south, the North Celestial Pole, I can do this in three minutes, not ten. But as you can see, I was way, way off by one and a half degrees. So I'm going to have to start over, I think, in a bit because my star will go off the screen, which makes sense. Okay, so this is good. I'm glad it went this way. So <clears throat> let's hit the restart button here because now we're getting closer and closer, but I don't want to go off screen. So restart, and don't forget, take your right ascension, unlock the clutch. Remember, the mount's not turning or tracking. It's turned off. I'm going to put the telescope right back to the home position as it's pointing north celestial pole, right beside Polaris. Okay, all right. So it's back straight up. So basically, if I post go here, I'll show you where I am. Back, back, now right here. I'm in the home position. So let's keep, let's start over. So push next, All right? Next we go. Notice down here it said solve in green, which is good. See down here, most recent frame, solved. Again, two seconds, gain at 2,000. You might want to give it more gain if you want to bring in more stars. 2,000, okay, let's go with that. Now, rotate the RA. Turn the mount. Make sure the, hor the bar, counterweight bar, is horizontal with the horizon. Give it a few seconds. Okay. Now, press the next button before using alt touching the alt as. So, press next. And let's see what we got. All right. Now, we have a circle and a square. And the idea is to bring the square up to the circle. So, let's keep going down. Keep going down. Yep. And now I'm going to go left because it's recommended to go left by 29. I want to bring that to zero. Seventeen. Now bring that. that was left. Now I'm gonna go use the down again from a twenty-five. Let's see if we can bring that down to fifteen-ish. Like I said, this can go really quickly if you're very close to begin with. But even if you're way out, that's okay. Because you can turn it, turn it, turn it, restart until you see the circle with an X and the square. So we're doing good. We're at fifteen, fifteen. Sometimes you have to go to the right knob and loosen it while you tighten the left. So keep going. This, this time it's probably going to take me something like 10 minutes, but at least you get a pretty good idea, idea of uh, what to do and how easy it is. I'm going down. Keep going. Past 10. Back to the left now because I'm at 7. 7. 5. By the way, that's 5 arc minutes. We want arc seconds. And six arc minutes. Now I'm going to go down on the <clears throat> altitude, alt, altitude knob. So there we go. Now back to left. Now you see what just happened when you get close? There's two nice horizontal bars show up, and you want them to meet up. I think it's the coolest thing. Okay, we'll stop here. Now, my declination, not my deck, my down or altitude is at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0009 or 2. And see, it says good. So I'm almost at z uh, 0 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. I'm at 6 seconds. And of course, the azimuth is way off, but that's okay because I want to zoom in. When you reach this point, take your auto, go to 125, scroll up. If you want, go to 150. Okay, now we have a nice view. All right, so 
according to the altitude. I'm zero 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 across the board. Don't touch that anymore. Let's go to left. La tiny little adjustment. Keep watching it. There we go. And now it says excellent. Okay, but as you noticed, my up now moved up a bit. So I was down. Let me get my mouse here. So I'm really close here. See, up by 0 0.4 and left by 0 0.3. Now, here's what's happening, and I want you guys to keep this in, con in consideration. The seeing is horrible. So as you notice, I'm going from 0 0.5 to 11, sometimes 0 0.1 to 10 or 12. See, there's 0 0.7. This is actually 8 arc seconds. I mean, you could guide all night with perfection on this if PhD is doing a good job and your mount's pretty good. But for all intents and purposes, I'm going to attempt to bring this all to 0 double zero double zero at least under 10 and well it just did it see 0302 so if I touch this I mean if I try to make an adjustment here because the stars are bouncing around I'm actually going to make it worse so under 10 arc seconds uh, <clears throat> that's excellent for guiding all night and getting perfectly round stars um, you don't want one arc minute that would be these the middle there the zero zero here not the hours, but the minutes, not the seconds. Man, that's excellent. And it says it's excellent. So you're poor. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to auto. I'm going to hit restart from the very beginning. I'm going to loosen the clutch on the right ascension. And right now I'm 90 degrees. I'm going to turn it, push the counter bar nice and gentle all the way back to the home position. And we're going to do it all over again. A second time. You don't have to, but I want to do it twice. Ready? Okay. So we'll give it a second there to plate solve. And press the next button to continue. So next. Give it a few seconds. Make sure it says solved in green. Now rotate. We're going to loosen the clutch. There we go. And turn the mount horizontal, east to west. Right there, lock the clutch. Lock the clutch because I don't want it moving. So wait a few seconds. It's cold out here. Now press next before adjusting the alt as. So here we go. Okay, so I have good from what I had excellent. So I have 30 arc seconds and 22 arc seconds. And it's bouncing around. Back to my 125. Back to centering my nice yellow crosshairs. And once again, let's do a little up very slowly. Keep in mind, every time you touch these knobs, you're affecting the star by, you know, six or seven or eight or ten pixels. So it has to be so, so tiny, tiny adjustments. I mean tiny. I'm talking one one twentieth of a turn here. What's nice is you're having you have a graphical image of what of what needs to happen, which is those two lines have to coincide one on top of each other okay so I went right past it and if I don't touch it right now I'm at 08 07 and sharp tap says absolutely excellent so here's what usually happens once you've got it like right on remember I had the right side screw completely out and I was just left 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 I didn't really have to go right so what happens is as you tighten as you tighten the right one now, it's going to push against the left. So there's going to have to be a compromise between turning right by a little bit and turning left. So you're going to have to just play with it a bit and let it go. So I'm showing seven arc seconds and twelve arc seconds on alt as in altitude. If you're hearing some sound here, it's just a zipper hitting my microphone. So it wants me to go up a tad. I don't know if I want to touch that, so I have to tighten up the uh, altitude knob. And when I do that, it's going to throw everything out. So what I do is I tighten it a little bit, and then I go down a little bit. If you don't do this, it's going to be really hard to put this right on. See what happens when you tighten, tighten the back one, and then I re-tighten it back up? So it wants me to go down a bit. 14, 15. Remember I talked about compromising between tightening those two? So I'm going to back up. 
a little bit. 20th of a turn. Okay, so you notice I'm bouncing between 5 and 16 and 2 and 11. I mean, that, that is perfection. I mean, nothing's perfect. And even on a perfect, perfect night, probably wouldn't be that anyways because there's always some kind of a breeze or a jet stream or some haze, whatever. But my poor alignment now, if it can stay here, bounce between 8 and 10 or 15, see here? It just changed to 1 on the, uh, the declination. And RA is 21. Now it's 10. Now it's 16. So I'm going to go in on the right just a smidgen and let it go. Of course, when I tighten the right, I have to loosen the left. See what happens here? This is what happens. I'm going to loosen the right, turn the left again. A little bit. Six on deck and ten on RA. Five, five. That's it. I'm done. I'm going to loosen the clutch, bring that back up to a home position. And you have now seen, not difficult, is it, really? <clears throat> so I'm shooting between 10 and 15. We go back down here. There's the full screen. And of course, the sky is crazy. It's just bouncing uh, all over the place. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to touch it. The guider will do that perfectly. Now, here's another thing. If you leave it off a bit, like if the declination is out by, let's say, you're shooting a 0, 0, 0, 0, 10 or 15, that's a good thing. Why? Because you only want to guide in one direction. I don't want PhD making a zigzag or a sawtooth. I want to just guide north. So it's good to be out. It's good to be out a little bit. I wouldn't say 30 arc seconds, but... 10, 5, 15, do not worry about that. Those are all things that the mount and PhD2 can correct. Okay, I believe that's, <clears throat> I think that's it for now. Uh, but what I am going to do.